Hello, glorious beauties. I am Frank, aka Dragonflow, and this is my co-host Ozzy the Dog. Uh, I wanted to talk today about the story Hansel and Gretel, and how it relates to the toxic uh, feminine or the malevolent mother. Now, in our society, we hear a lot about toxic masculinity, and I don't disagree that there is such a thing as toxic masculinity, but there's also divine masculinity. And obviously, there's divine femininity. But then, we don't hear it as much, uh, because it doesn't suit the agenda. But there's a lot, just as much toxic femininity as there is toxic masculinity. And you can't really have one without playing off of the other. Now, the story Hansel and Gretel is about the toxic feminine or the malevolent mother. My dog is... Uh, scratching himself. But there's two types of malevolent mothers in the story. So Hansel and Gretel, towards the beginning of the story, have a stepmother that doesn't want them around. So she convinces the father to get rid of them. On two occasions, she tries to get rid of them. And then on the second occasion, she kind of succeeds. So this is the, the component of the malevolent mother that ignores you and kind of uh, outcasts you from the family system and doesn't give you any attention and she tries to give you as little resources as possible. So this makes it that you don't grow. But then there's another type of malevolent mother, which is the second type of malevolent mother that Hansel and Gretel meet throughout the journey uh, while they're lost in the woods. And this is the witch that traps them, uh, cages one of them, and feeds them till their heart's content so she feeds them, she gives them everything that they need to eat and everything that they need to survive, but she traps them. They can't go anywhere. So this is another component of the toxic mother where she'll do everything for you, but you cannot escape her grasp. You always have to be by your side. You can't leave her or you're, you're a bad person or you're an evil person. She makes you feel guilty about it. So both of these components are toxic the toxic feminine, and the malevolent mother. Now, the thing is, we must be aware of toxic masculinity when masculinity is toxic, but we also have to be aware of toxic femininity when femininity is toxic. Why? Because when the masculine is toxic, both men and women suffer. So, like, I didn't have the best relationship with my dad, and my dad tended to be very toxic in a lot of occasions, and I suffered for it. But my mom was also toxic in many situations, and I suffered for that as well. So in order to get rid of male toxicity or the toxic masculine, and in order to get rid of the toxic feminine, you have to create and cultivate the divine in both the masculine and the, ma the feminine. You can't have one who is one sex which is truly divine, while the other sex is uh, toxic and vice versa. So the toxicity might be playing off of each other. Now, because male uh, toxicity gets addressed a lot, I don't think it needs to be addressed more. But female toxicity needs to be addressed. And female toxicity also affects females in a negative way, and this is why it needs to be addressed. So, example, I had a friend who had the first component or the first element of the toxic mother where she married her father, she married my friend's father, and therefore was her stepmother. And as a cause to that, alienated her, beat her, told her nasty things, threatened her. So obviously, this is not divine femininity. On the other hand, had she would have done the opposite, it's like, stay by my side, never leave, I'll give you everything you want, just stay with me all the time. This is another component of the toxic feminine. Uh, I really would like it if you read the story or at least watch a YouTube video about Hansel and Gretel because it will give you an idea of what type of toxic feminine you have in your life. These videos are not to point blame at anybody or accuse any of the sexes for being good or bad. There is divine in both sexes and there's toxicity in both sexes. The thing is for us to get back to a middle point where males and females find their divinity in each other again, or alone if they wish. But we need to regulate the toxicity in both the sexes, if there is any, in one or the other. It is definitely in both. So I wish you all a beautiful day, and namaste.